Well, good morning. Go, Here's another episode of Montana Haven. And uh, we're doing an epic hike into the Cabin of Mountain Wilderness today. We got uh, four little guys with us. Kendall, say hi. Hi. And uh, Austin, wave your hand. How old are you, Austin? Nine. How old are you, Kendall? Eight. And then you have Justin and Ethan back there. Wave your arms. How old are you? Thirteen. All right, then we've got uh, Michael here on the left. And okay, there's Benjamin in the back. <laughs> Two brother in laws. We got some friends here that were here for the wedding, and uh, another friend here from Pennsylvania, Eli. So, a whole bunch of us guys were heading up to the top of Treasure Mountain today, going down the backside into Hanging Valley Lakes. And then, uh, what do you think, Michael? What's the loop like about nine miles or so, probably something like that? Probably not. My, Michael keeps it low, he's probably saying three, but <laughs> it's, it's between uh, seven and nine, something like that. All right, we're off. Hiking up here, and we got up here a little ways. We're going through a burn that happened about three years ago. And I just want to show you, there's thousands of little trees coming up everywhere. Look at all those little trees, just covered with trees everywhere. In a couple of years, about 10 years, it'll be so thick you can't get through here. I mean, they're literally growing inches apart. Thousands and thousands of little trees. This place will have to be thinned out, logged in about 20 years. Otherwise, there's just going to be another fire going through here. But look at these massive trees that didn't get burned. That one's got about a three foot bud on it. More over there. Three foot. Look how tall that thing is. I don't know how tall that is. It's a hundred and some foot tree, 150 foot probably. Arrow with you. Story that came to me about this great tree right here. See that big ponderosa pine tree? <clears throat> that tree is, I would cut it down just from my experience in the log home business. I'd say that tree back there is probably right at 100 years old. It's about three and a half, four feet at the base. <clears throat> the one in the back right there. This was another big one, but it died. But that tree, see, you've got about, I don't know, 70 feet until you get to the first branches. I'm thinking about that as my life. As the tree grows, the branches stay right where they were. They don't grow up. The tree just expands and adds new growth to the top. So all the branches that, as if the tree would have been 20 feet tall, it would have been completely filled with branches, but now it's completely bare. So what I'm thinking about is, in our life as we're growing, those things that it needs the branches to grow, to develop and grow, but as it grows, it'll actually shed these branches. It no longer needs them. So the things that as we develop in life, those things that help us grow, develop, we don't need them anymore. They provided growth, but now we continue to grow and those, and we're continually learning new things, like that growth on top right there. But the revelations that we had, we no longer need those to grow, because as we grow, we learn new things. The Lord shows us new things. And that's what we need to live on, to develop and grow. So I think that's just a cool analogy for our life. All these old trees, no longer need the old branches down here. But they do need the old branch. They do need new growth. Otherwise they die if they don't have new growth. So we have to continually be growing in our spirit, developing, learning new things just like this old tree. That's a hundred years old. We learn so many things from nature. I just love the analogy that we can learn from all these things. The Bible teaches us that, that nature itself speaks to us. You know, the stars and plants, all these things we can learn if we, there's a wild rose right there. All these things we can learn from if we stop and listen because they all come from the creator who made heaven and earth. There's a big old ponderosa pine and look what we found. Some fresh claw marks of a bear pretty tall it's like probably about six and a half feet or so up there probably a big black bear 
Yeah, pretty neat. Hey, look at that, Ethan. What do you got there? Um, bear grass. Wow. It mm. smells pretty good. Let me see your nose. The bear grass put some powder on his nose. They're poll in pollen right now. Mm. Yeah, they're super pretty flowers. They grow out of this really sharp grass that I don't know. I think bears just, they don't eat the stuff, but they kind of live in this type of area. Real pretty flowers. Whenever you see bear grass, that means you're in the high country. Check out these cool flowers everywhere. Whoa. Just awesome. We're just starting to break out. This is where we came up here. Doing some hunting last year. There's a whole mountainside that got burned a couple years ago from a fire. I'm just hiking up the side here. It's definitely cloudy today, but it's kind of nice because it's not so hot. Just look at the color of that moss. Beautiful. It's pretty sweet having my boys up here hiking with me. It's really special. Doing panoramic. Yeah, I'm videoing. There's a uh, there's our ranch down there, that field right there. Our community. We just live on the upper end of that. And uh, there's a good view of Libby, Montana, right there. Nestled right in the foothills of the Cabinet Mountains. A little bit windy up here. Today, it was clear we could see all the way into Glacier National Park. See, we can see some lakes. There's actually the top of the peak where we're going up there. We're getting up here, and uh, there's a couple lakes way down here. See if we can spot them from here. Mm. Can't see them there. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Oops. Oh, no, that's a log right down there. There we go. There you can see it right down there, way down there. That terribly hard to get to. There's another tiny little one further up here. Well, I think, Stephen, this is your first episode up in the Cabinet Mountains, right? I love it. Feeling alive. Great. Stephen's from New York. He's a country boy, but he hasn't climbed too many Rocky Mountains, I don't think. First time in the Cabinets, for sure. We're in the snow now here as well. We've got another, probably about an hour, we hit the peak. A little windy up here, a little chilly, but I'd rather be hiking up here now than in hot weather. getting closer to the top we're gonna have to go up that sharp ridge but down here is the last of the lakes still covered in some ice yeah, as you can tell they like to go right over the edge and be seriously unsafe no there's actually like a cave way down there Ethan be careful bud you don't want to drop in there may not retrieve you don't know the name of these flowers but wow they are pretty we just come across a den. It's like you can tell something's been here. Oh, not bear. Look at this. I literally think this is a bear den. Wow. Yeah, bear, yeah, there's hair here. Check it out. It's way awesome. This is way awesome. Yeah. I mean, look at the hair right here. They're hanging off of their bear hair. That is neat. Wow. That is so neat. Let's see if I can see in there better. It goes in a ways. This is awesome. Wow. Justin's gonna try to squeeze through the entrance here. I don't know if he can get in there, Justin. There's no bear in there now. There was. And a grudge Maccabees they want. Smells like dogs in there, he says. Justin's coming out of there. Yeah, he's got some bear hair all over him. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, ay, ay, ay. Woo! Just dropped about two feet down. Freaky Friday. Although it's Monday. Okay, we're good. There's Ethan. It's like, I don't know, really steep right now. 50 degrees or something. I'm getting ever so close now. Down this snowy slope right here. What do you think, bud? You made it, little guy.
Dad, you saw some strange rocks. It's amazing. It's all, it's all kids are tough. No kidding. So we're almost at the top. This is like there's two humps, and there's the guys. Two of the guys are up there. That's the tallest point, but we want to hit both of them. Nice work, guys. Oh, this is so awesome. Look at that. There's a hanging valley. This upper lake. We're going to go down there and head down to the lower lake. Wow, just look at the view around here. Unreal. Unreal. Ibex Peak in the background. Snowshoe Peak and A Peak right there in the clouds. The two toddles peaks. Phenomenal. Watch the edge there, bud. It's only a thousand feet down, so the falling part won't hurt. It's just the hitting part. Okay, we're going to do an epic rock roll here. Hey, Ethan, stay back. There he goes, there he goes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thousand pieces. Nuts. There he goes, throwing a big rock. Just splits, it's all shale. Wow. So we're gonna head over to the actual top now. Justin's traversing down through these some pretty heck hairy stuff right here. Look out, watch Ethan, don't get close. You might kick kick a rock off. Kinda hairy to see your kids doing stuff like this. Okay, Justin, keep moving as fast as you can to get out of there. As carefully as you can. There he goes. Safe at last. Okay. All right. Next one. Take your time, bud. It's a little bit wet. And we're summiting. Oh, hallelujah. Good job, man. Look at that. Lower hanging valley, upper hanging valley. It smells amazing. Unreal. Yeah, you can smell This is unreal, guys. It is. Michael, we're at the fifth tallest peak. Am I right in the Cabinet Mountains? Oh, I don't even know. I believe it's the fifth. Oh, I'm not mistaken. Well, we're heading down now. We're going to go down this little ridge, go to the upper lake. And there's a trail that connects to the lower lake. And I believe it's five miles out from there. But yeah, it's uh, pretty amazing. We can see all the way into the Selkirks, which are way in the distance into Idaho. Look all the way into Scotchman Peaks in the West Cabinets. And then north, we can see all the way into the Canadian Rockies, way up there. And then if you look all the way to the east, you can see Glacier Park. It's endless mountains. Absolutely fantastic. We just absolutely rebel and took off work. Since we're pretty much all our own contractors, we can do that, but it's uh, super busy, but we still decided to do it. Take our boys and come up here on a Monday. I'm glad we did it. Bald eagle flying right out there. So beautiful. A little bit hard to see right there between the branches. There he goes. Banking his turn. Let me get a better look at him. Right there he is. Nice. Just fly floating around up here. Ethan hiked way over there to slide down on that snow. All right, there they go. Okay. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was cold. Oh, 
whatever. They're having a blast. They love it up here. Awesome, awesome. Just coming off the top here. Yeah, just pretty, pretty beautiful. We just saw something run across her down here. I don't know what it was, if it was a squirrel, but it almost looked like it could have been a marten. I don't know for sure. But we're just getting ready to bench over this little area here and down into the upper lake. Infinity pool right here. Awesome, awesome. It just sits right up here on this little shelf. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Looking at it from the other side. There it is. So, there's a reason animals have four legs, so they can get right down here and graze. <laughs> These glacier lilies are really, really good. Mmm, just delicious, <laughs> like salad. They are, it's amazing. Mmm, so good. I'd like to camp out here for a while. Beautiful. What a creek from all the way up there, just a trickle. We got a really nice sized creek right here. Going down right into the lake. Amazing, there's the lake. Walking out on this little deal here. Here's the lake, sitting right up here, Upper Hanging Valley. Right in this little valley, just sits up here. Doesn't see many people. I'm gonna throw my line and see if I can catch any trout, see if there's anything in here. Okay, we're coming out to the lower lake. It's been raining now, unfortunately. And we kinda, we totally lost the trail. We were totally just thrashing through all the underbrush the whole way down it was a pain but we finally got down here after some mega falls now we got to find our way to the other end of the lake one way or another boys are out there fishing i didn't have any luck but benjamin actually caught one I think Ethan's gonna try his hand now. There's a good cast. We'll see what happens. Mosquitoes are pretty bad here. Fish are jumping, but don't really have the right lure to catch them. I think if I had night crawlers or then some flies along. I think we could nab them. Quit raining at least, that's nice. We're gonna head out of here before too long. It's four o'clock now. Benjamin's roasting his fish he caught here. It's fairly tasty right there. Just beautiful scenery again here. Really going down through this meadow, well, not meadow, but brushy area. It's really steep. The trail coming out of here. Avalanche area during the winter time. And uh, well, there's the town of Libby. Right down in there. We're heading out of here.
Pretty cool cliff. Okay, we're here by the creek. We got to cross, and we got three and a half, well, about three miles to go after this. And this creek here is coming out, actually, out of another drainage, out of a different, oh, no. different Ethan. place. Oh no, Ethan just fell in the water. Oh, he just fell in the last creek we were at. Oh no. Okay, Justin, let me see you not wet, get wet. wet, wet. I all right, now he's got wet feet. Round two. Pretty little place right here. We come up here to pick huckleberries sometime during the summer. Driving home and a big black bear ran across the road. So we ran down here and I tried to get him on video, but he ran off in the woods. We completely missed him. I, he was sitting down here watching me. And as I ran off the edge of the road, I scared him off, unfortunately. Anyways, it was a good day. My uh, phone says I walked, we walked 12.3 miles today. And that included elevation gains. So the boys did really well. Everybody's pretty tired. We're going to go home and get some dinner. So thanks for watching this episode of Montana Haven. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully you enjoy this channel. Do you have a good day, Justin? Yeah. Justin bumped his knee pretty hard this last crack there. So he's limping, limping out on us. But uh, it was a good day. So thanks again for watching. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next episode.